My rear condition is returning. Hi there, I'm Golden Routes, and today we'll be taking a look at the fact that my air condition or cluster headaches are returning. I'd gone over this probably five to six years ago uh, because a lot of people were complaining about my voice at the time and stuff like that, and I was just like, hey, this is why my voice sounds the way it does. There's nothing I can really do about it, and let's just move on, basically. Uh, however, it's starting to return. Um, thankfully, it's not too bad just yet. I think a lot of it's just stress. Because right now is a very stressful time for me. And uh, I just wanted you guys to be aware that this condition has returned. It's never going to go away either, by the way. It just comes and goes in bouts. So... I don't really know, you know, I don't really know how it's going to affect my videos at this current time. I don't know a lot of stuff right now, just because it's been so long since I've actually had to worry about it that I haven't had to worry about it. So, I'm going to do my best to keep my train of thought together and everything like that. You're probably wondering how these headaches affect me and my ability to speak. A lot of times I'll be pausing a lot more than what I have been and there'll be a little bit more sun pauses so they'll be a bit like this kind of you know and they're not like that at this time so that's kind of good to know um, it they're very painful you know I'm not going to lie they're very painful uh, they're known to be the worst pain a human can experience. That was several years ago worth of study. However, today's study shows that they are still one of the most painful things a human could experience. But I don't believe they are known as the worst pain humans can experience anymore. Either way, they're very painful. Um... So as you can imagine, trying to put up with one of these headaches and trying to talk, my voice might just sound a little bit different. It might sound like I'm a bit more irritated or a bit more aggravated towards the world and stuff like that, but I'm not really. It's just I'm in so much pain that it is hard for me to talk the way I usually talk. Um... Outside of that, I'm doing fine right now. I don't have a headache, and I checked to see if I didn't have a silent headache. For those who don't know what a silent headache is, which these are really ironic, I believe. You know, a headache you have pain with, and a silent headache you have all the other symptoms but pain with. So the way I checked this was to see if my face was swollen any, and it didn't look like it was swollen at all. Which is a really good thing because that means that I don't have anything to worry about right now. The only other problem I see with these headaches really is... I don't really know. Am I going to be able to make videos with headaches? You know, that's my biggest worry. I think I'll be able to manage uh, considering I haven't been uploading every day to begin with uh, for a little bit here. Um, I'm trying to mine, but I'm n not really finding a good place to mine. Uh, either way, um, just don't expect my voice to be normal here for every video and all of that. Um, they're very sudden headaches too. Some people get warning signs, some people don't from what I understand and I don't really get a warning sign usually if I get a headache I get a headache you know it's it's, it's there on top of that not only is it just there it also sorry I lost my train of thought uh, it also is it grows if that makes sense so like it'll hit pretty hard and then it'll kind of simmer down, but it'll still be there, and then it'll gradually get worse, and it just kind of keeps 
pulsating, I guess is a good way to put it, until it finally dies down. Um, so there's not much I can do about it. I can't take medicines. However, the medicines I take lower my blood pressure, and I can't take medicines that lower my blood pressure. So I, I literally just have to put up with them. Um, there's probably other cures and stuff like that for them that I could do, but they're probably a little bit out of my price range and something I probably wouldn't be up to doing. You know, I have a pretty high pain tolerance, and these headaches definitely, I can definitely tell you that they are not something I look forward to at all. You know, regular headaches, okay, big deal, you know, or no big deal, you know. They're, they're just, I don't even feel them half the time because it's just a headache, you know. Like, I know I have one because that small little bit of pain I feel, but it's a very small amount of pain I feel. So, I'm not too worried about a regular headache. However, when it comes to these cluster headaches, that's when I begin to worry a little bit because I don't look forward. I actually kind of dread the headaches. They come and go very quickly. Um, or can. They can come and go pretty quickly, I should say. Um, but I don't really know what else to cover in this video. If I missed something, please let me know. And I will try to explain it to the best of my capability. Um, for now, that's all. So thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.